decided to get hitched. But do you know your partner's blood type? Yes, it is important to know your soulmate's blood type before getting married, because you're going to have kids with him or her. A couple's blood type may determine the health of their child. It is very important for a couple to get their blood type checked before getting married or having a baby, as it can determine the health of the child. You may have heard of ABO and rhesus blood type. ABO refers to the different types of blood groups. ABO and AB, while rhesus is a type of protein that may or not be present in your red blood cells. People with rhesus proteins in the red blood cells are termed as rhesus positive, and those without it are known as rhesus negative. Rhesus positive is the most common blood type. While having rhesus negative blood type usually does not affect your health, it can affect your pregnancy. Especially, couples should get their rhesus checked before getting married or having a child. If you and your partner are either both rhesus negative or positive, then it is not problematic. But when the mother is rhesus negative and the father is rhesus positive, the baby might be born rhesus positive. In such a case, there are chances of excessive bleeding and many other complications. A rhesus positive baby formed from a rhesus negative mother and rhesus positive father can lead to a process called isoimmunization. When this happens, the baby's blood may enter the mother's body while he is in the womb, which can lead to complications post-pregnancy. The risk remains even if the mother aborts the baby, and the blood of rhesus-positive father is mixed. If the fetal blood which is rhesus-positive leaks into the maternal circulation which has rhesus-negative blood, fetal cells will be recognized as foreign. This results in the mother producing antibodies, which are called rhesus-immunoglobulin G. These antibodies could pass through the mother's placenta and attack the red blood cells of the fetus. Once the red blood cells break down, they produce bilirubin. In most of these cases, the leakage of fetal blood into maternal circulation takes place during delivery. Because of this, the mother does not produce enough antibodies, leaving the firstborn baby unharmed. The severity of such a situation will continue to increase with every consecutive pregnancy involving a rhesus-positive fetus. The worst-case scenario would lead to marked anemia or stillbirth. If the affected baby is born, then hydration and phototherapy using bilirubin lights can be used to treat jaundice. Bilirubin lights emitting rays of 420 to 470 nanometer help to convert bilirubin into a form that can be easily excreted from the body. Coupled with hydration, this makes the process quicker. In the worst cases, the baby might have to undergo a blood transfusion while still in the uterus. A needle is inserted into the umbilical cord, directed by using an ultrasound machine. The transfusion procedure takes place once in the two or three weeks before the child is born. Even if the treatment options are good and give positive results, prevention is still a better option. Rogamimmune globulin is a medication used to prevent isoimmunization in mothers. If an indication is seen that there is a chance of rhesus-positive cells entering maternal circulation, then it is administered at 28 to 32 weeks into the pregnancy, and again within 72 hours of delivery. Prevention of rhesus incompatibility is much easier than the difficulties faced during the treatment. Couples need to check themselves for any chance of incompatibility, so that they know what steps to take in advance. Moreover, advancements in the commercial production of antibodies have helped reduce the cost of medication. It has also increased its availability. Such steps have also reduced the chances of rhesus incompatibility from 10 to 20 percent, down to 1 percent.